hi and welcome back to our channel i'm sean this is emma these are our two rescue pups rex and maggie and together we are the search 365. in this series we're going to take you with us on our tour of northern england starting off in Cannock Chase, an area of outstanding natural beauty in South Staffordshire. Chase was designated an area of outstanding natural beauty in 1958 and is the smallest mainland AOMB in England. Made up of beautiful heaths, woodland, forests and historic parklands. Enjoyed today by walkers and wildlife lovers alike. It's also a mecca for mountain bikers who enjoy the well-maintained trails throughout the chase. We decided to stop off here on our way north, choosing to stay at the Caravan and Camping Club site which is situated on the south east side of the area, between Cannock and Rougely, right on the edge of the forest. Unfortunately, we only had two full days here and would suggest more time to truly enjoy the area. Day one and we headed out for a hike to explore the area near our campsite. Right, and we've got a bit of a steep bit coming now. Mm -hmm. Come on then, Rex, let's go. Oh, steady. Yeah. No, it's fine. Ooh. Right, which way do you think we should go? Uh, there's a track there, let's go that way. Right, come on then. The track at the bottom there? Yeah. I think this is where the, um, oh my God. I think this is a mountain bike trail off piste. Oh, we'll get down, isn't yeah. It? I might just put my camera away. Okay. Holy shit. It's not it's not that bad actually, I can see it. It's not that bad. It looks worse than it is. Yeah. Right, come on, Rex. Right. Much easier on a bike. Come on, Rex. <laughs> You're all right, aren't you, Moo? Yeah, she's all right. Come on, then, four wheel drive. Maggie! You're right. No, it's not time for squirrel hunting now. Come, Come on, Moo, let's go. Nothing like going a bit off-piste. 
Hey. We like to get lost. There's a bridge. Oh, you want a drink, Rex? Good boy. Drink. A drink. A drink, Lou. <laughs> Not too far. <laughs> Good girl. And I'll fall in here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'd like, there's, the, there's the bike trails. <laughs> for a few hours before we headed out for hikes and riding the trails the next day. Oh, and meet Tony, Tony No-Tail as we named him, who became our campsite friend. Dogs and I have come out for a walk this morning, haven't we Moo? Haven't we? We've come out for a walkies and we've made it, haven't we? We've made it to Fair Oak Pools which is a bit of a trek. Um, the weather's not gonna, looking like it's gonna be great today so we're gonna start heading back um, towards the campsite. Um, we've probably got about three miles to walk so hopefully we'll get there before it starts raining. Um, but it's pretty pretty around here. Check this out. This place is an absolute Come here, mecca for hikers and bikers. Sean's gone off to do his uh, mountain bike circular route. And we've come, come out for a traditional big hike, just me and the dogs walking through this beautiful ancient woodland. Oh, Maggie's all excited because she can go in the water. <laughs> hey! Yeah, we found them! You want to go in? I don't want to go in there. Hey! Oh, it's making me want to go wee! Come on then, let's walk on. Come on then, you know, walk over them. Make sure they're not slippery. Woo! Yay! You go in there, and I'll walk for you. That's it. That's it. Nice. Okay. Cool. Cool. 
Well, in uh, true Emma on her own taking the dogs out style, <laughs> got a bit lost. Ended up having to uh, track down a little road a little bit, which was a bit of a nightmare. Managed to safely cross the railway and the road, and the main road, we're, so we're back on our side of the forest now. Just heading back up to the car park. Um, not sure how far we've walked, but it's quite a long way. We've been out for about two hours. So it's a great uh, forest, lovely forest. Um, over the over the side we've just been is a bit more, um, you know, tailored for families. So the roads, are, the paths are a bit more um, laid properly and they've got to go up and they do forest segue and uh, there's a few pools and things which is quite nice. Um, so we're back over on the wild side, which is where we're staying at the Caravan and Camping Club site. Um, and most of the red trails for mountain biking or the big big part of the red loop is on this side and also we'll probably just go past it in a minute which is the style cop um downhill mountain bike bit which is a bit full on i think it's mostly blacks there's just one red i think um i think they do a competition there so it's quite full on not sure sean will be heading there today it's just started to rain, so we've got away with it this morning, which is fab. So, time to head back for some lunch, a cup of coffee, and a chill out this afternoon. And hopefully we'll get some signal so we can watch the footy tonight. So it's England, Scotland tonight. Let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> It's a really easy ride to the trails from the campsite. Oh, here we go. This is it. This will be it. Right, okay. You join the monkey trail between trail markers M5 and M6. The Monkey Trail is one of two red trails at Cannock Chase. It's 80% single track, just under 8 miles long. trail is harder than the other red trail called follow the dog with more technical features and some really challenging black options some of the features include technical rock gardens boardwalks jumps and drops enjoyed the trail it has improved a lot from the last time I rode it about seven years ago. I'm really looking forward to seeing what improvements they've made to follow the dog the next time we visit. If you would like to have a look at the full trail video why not check out our mountain bike playlist on our channel. We 
Chick is coming! It's Daddy! It's Daddy! Yay! Oh! Hello! Hello! Oh, hello, Muddy! Oh, yeah. I see you're all Muddy from here, aren't you? Hello! You alright? Yeah, Still good. alive? Still alive! All good! Just hey. got back before. There's my husband doing rainy day jobs and some yoga. <laughs> Lovely. He's currently filling up our water in the oh, the door. Filling up the water with his flat hose. It's not flat. It's not flat because it's full of water. Because we nearly run out, didn't we? We did run out. Uh, there's plenty of water around, as you can see, as it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. Only this afternoon, though. Yeah, we managed to get out hiking and biking this morning, didn't we? Yeah. So, I'm just doing all the jobs now. Doesn't matter whether it's raining or shining, does it? When you're doing the jobs. No. No, we can always bung the heating on. Get dry, have a cup of tea. Get the football, get the tally ready for the football. Later. Yep. All good. What do you think of the motorhome uh, service point? Yes, yeah, good. Very, very good. Nice drive over waste for the grey waste. Yeah, cater for both sides of the van here as well. Not all places do, do they? Yeah, because it's in the middle, so it's good. Slap bang in the middle, isn't it? Yeah. Like wastewater and drinking water. Yeah, it's good. It's all good. It's all good. The Maggie <gasps> is sat on the table. You're going to get told off by Daddy. You're going to get told off by Daddy. You're going to get told off by Daddy. Oh. <gasps> That's naughty. <laughs> That's <Oi>. naughty. <laughs> She's like, I don't like being on camera, mummy. Danny's going to tell you off in a minute. Maggie, off, please. Go, you get off. Get off. <gasps> Thank you. That's naughty, isn't it? You're a naughty bear. You're a naughty bear. You can put your paw on the table all you like. That's naughty. You're a good boy, Rex. Are we interrupting your afternoon nap? We are, aren't we? Put the kettle on. Good job. That is not our thing. <laughs> that is King and its thing. But it's still funny when you do things. Hello, Momo. What when you poke me up the bottom? Yes. Good job. Good boy. He's just chilling. Chilling. Chilling on his city. <laughs> your arm up are you? You do sometimes look like a kangaroo. Alright Ray. Good day Ray. Good day Rex. Good day Rex. This caravan and camping club site is well laid out with tent pitches, hard standing pitches and ready to camp safari tents for hire. There is a reception area, a child's play area, one toilet and shower block 
and lodging facilities and motorhome service points. While some of the grass pitches are not level, the hard standing pitches generally are. Being close to a main road, it can be a little noisy with traffic noise, but only at rush hour times, and we didn't find it too intrusive. The toilet and shower block is clean and well maintained, everything you'd expect from a caravan and camping club site. Along with direct access to the forest, it makes a lovely stop to explore the area. Next time on our Northern England tour, we head to Coniston in the Lake District. Rex and Maggie go for a sup, I investigate some tarns, and we find an amazing little waterfall. Don't forget, if you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment and hit that subscribe button for more coming soon.